Hello and welcome back to the Bosch tutorial series. In this video we'll be going into the details about what constitutes a Bosch release and what is the expected format of its components. Um, in this video, uh, we'll have in this session we'll have two sections. The first section, which is this video, we're gonna go through a theoretical go through of a Bosch release and its components. And in a later video, the second section, we're going to go through a top-down go-through of a real Bosch release that you can go and deploy in the real world. Um, it's important to note that we will not cover how to create a release in this session. We're going to leave it till later as we become more familiar with Bosch terms and um, ecosystem. So a quick recap from our previous session. We mentioned that a Bosch release contains the actual software bits we need to run itself, in addition to compilation and runtime dependencies. Also, we will need to include some scripts to tell Bosch how to run and compile our software. It's uh, worth to mention at this point that it's expected for a Bosch release of a software to be self-contained. For example, it can be deployed in an environment without internet or external network access, and it should still work. So we're expecting from a Bosch release not to depend on any artifacts that it needs to download from somewhere during compilation or during runtime. Let's take an example of a Java program. Let's say we wrote a Java program and we need to package this as a Bosch release. What we need to include are the Java classes that we created the compilation time dependencies, so it's going to be the Java compiler and any other compilation dependencies, let's say some other jar files. We also need to inc include the runtime dependencies, which will include the JVM or any other jar files as well. Plus, it's, we're going to include configuration scripts that will tell Bosch how to run and compile our software. A Bosch release is split into two components. The first component are the packages, and we can think about the packages are the software bits to run. This term is a bit of a loose term. You can think about it for now as just the software bits that you want to run. And the other component for a Bosch release are the jobs. And you can think about the job is the potential service that it's going to be run by Bosch. So you can map one to one, one service to a one job. We're going to cover those two a bit later. So let's start with a package. A package, you can think about it as a unit that has reference to a source, to the source code and binaries needed to run a software. In addition, it also includes the actual script that tells Bosch how to compile those bits. And compilation is also a loose term. Let's say if we are talking in the Java world, we're going to compile our Java classes, but that doesn't mean that we're going to always compile some code. That means that in a package compilation scenario, that means that we prepare our software to be runnable somehow. So let's talk about the Bosch package dependencies. In Bosch, a package can depend on zero or one or more packages whenever we create it. So we can state that this package depends on X amount of packages. And in this scenario, this is a compilation time dependencies. So those packages that package, so package B will only be available for package A during compilation. So for example, we have a Java program and we have this we have a package which is contains our classes and then we have another package that contains the JDK. We can state that that my Java program package depends on the JDK package and it will be only available during compilation time. And it's important to note that it's only available during compilation time, the package dependencies. The second part of a Bosch release is a job. Let's think about a job also as a unit that contains the scripts to run the software in the packages, not to compile them, just to run them, with some other configuration, plus the other configuration files that we need to run the software. Um, and as we mentioned before, let's think about a 
job as a service so let's say um, if you have let's say a package that is Apache Tomcat it contains the jar file or any any other dependencies of Apache Tomcat and then the ser and there's a job we're gonna call it let's say my server my Apache Tomcat server and that will be the service that will run the package which is the Apache Tomcat package now to talk about job dependencies a job can depend on a package on zero or more packages but a job can never depend on another job as as of now in Bosch uh, domain a job cannot depend on another job so only a job can depend on zero or more packages and we will call this dependency a runtime dependencies so only at runtime this package will be available for that job and you can specify which packages you need to to have available um, this is was just a quick theoretical overview of what are the components of a Bosch release there's many other details but just this is to break the ice and our intention is in the second part of the video is just to go through an actual release without actually knowing how to create it just to go through it to go through the structure so that we can just start to build the mental model of what to expect whenever we see a Bosch release of a software and throughout this tutorial series not only in this video we're gonna use the Apache JMeter Bosch release an example so that we can use as we go through and we build up on it so in the next video part of the session we're gonna talk we're gonna go through the structure of the Apache JMeter Bosch release so in summary we in this session we went through what is a Bosch release uh, what are the components so we talked about the packages and that the packages technically are the software bits that we need to run and also there could be packages that are only a dependency for another packages that are only available during runtime uh, we also talked about jobs and we think we thought about them as a service that it's gonna run that will use the package to run uh, and do we know that jobs can depend on packages but a job cannot depend on other jobs as of now in Bosch uh, and um, so let's go to the next video and we'll go through the actual structure of a Bosch real Bosch release and what is the actual components of it so I'll see you then thank you